Okay. I'm here with Russell, who's at the back of the conference hall making all of the magic happen. Russell, tell me, what's going on here? Tell me. Uh, so we have a team of about eight people uh, delivering the tech side for conference. So managed by Richard in the corner on his phone, uh, who will do the vision mix and what you see on the screens. Dave chooses all the PowerPoint and what goes on the screens. And we've got Andy on sound. Alex sits here um, and he does the live stream for us. Um, and then there's myself, Matt behind the camera right now, and Keith, who are managing all the Zoom element of conference. Obviously, conference is quite different this year. It's 80% online and 20% yep. here in the hall. Mm -hmm. And so, what are you doing to try and make the people on the Zoom to feel at home as if they're here? How, how is that working for you? So there's two sides to what we're doing. Um, so, basically, trying to give them everything that on Zoom that they have in the room here. So they can see the PowerPoints, they can see timers, um, they can see the platform, the band, everything that there's going on in here, we're relaying in different ways. Um, but in return, what you can see in the room here is a load of screens. And what we do is we put the grid view of Zoom so that they can see 50 people yeah. At the in the room at any one time can see people on Zoom and then we relay if we yeah. do a spotlighted person we then put that on the screens in here as well so people in the room can see exactly who's speaking as well. I'm not gonna lie I do like it when we can see all the people on the Zoom because I'm so nosy I love looking at people's backgrounds. <laughs> well they're up to while we're in time. you probably right, should be yeah. concentrating <laughs> but they're not. And so you're the, the people online at home you're their advocate because you're the really their first point of call and you are the the, the bridge between them and yeah. people here. Fantastic. This looks very, very complicated and... Um, it's easy when you know what you're doing. I want to press a button. Which one can I press? Um, none of them. None of them. <laughs> none of them right now, because we're not settled right now. Um, Do you have any messages for the people at home who are struggling with being online and everything? Have you got any, anything to say to them? please be patient with us. Um, there is a lot to do, there's a lot of process, even just getting a person from Zoom into the room. Yeah. As you may have noticed today, there's a couple of sound issues. Mainly, they're not us, they're the people at home and their microphone has a fault. So sometimes we have to just stop and start and um, I'm constantly chatting to people on Zoom. So if you send a point of order or a point of information that comes to me, I have to then relay it. Um, and same when you do the voting. So you're all using the raise hands function in voting, but um, and they're raising hands in here that has to be collated and counted and approved we're all talking all yeah. the way through that to make sure it is so it'd be lovely if everything was instant but it's not um, so please be patient but use the chat function as well we're here to help we're here to answer any questions um, it is mainly for things like point of order and point information yeah. but we do want to just give the best experience for people at home can you tell us a funny story of something that's happened not here <laughs> we do have them it's amazing what you see on zoom um so yeah buy me a coffee and i might tell you what's going on but thank you for everything that you're doing and on behalf of everybody here in the hall and definitely everybody at home who's joining us thank you for all of the technical wizardry and skill thank you so much you're welcome